Hello and welcome to the Mythical Mug Tavern. In this video, we will explore mythical weapons from around the world. Before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and leave a comment with your favorite mythical weapon. Let's begin. Excalibur, a mythical sword linked to the destiny of King Arthur, symbolized his rightful rule over England. Crafted by the Lady of the Lake, this marvel of a blade gleamed with enchantment. Bestowed upon Arthur, it marked a pivotal moment, signifying his divine right to rule and unifying role. Legends celebrated Excalibur's unbreakable nature, a symbol of invincibility on the battlefield. In some versions, only the true king could wield it, emphasizing its connection to Arthur's reign. Distinct from the sword in the stone, Excalibur, gifted by the Lady of the Lake, solidified Arthur's role as the rightful ruler. Though connected in lore, the two swords played distinct roles in the saga. Forged by dwarven blacksmiths Sindri and Broca, Mjolnir showcased unparalleled craftsmanship and magical prowess. The short-handled hammer, adorned with dwarven symbols, was destined for the god of thunder. Mjolnir's formidable appearance featured a stout handle and intricate inscriptions. Its magical properties made it a symbol of unmatched might, able to command the forces of nature. Thor, the god of thunder, wielded Mjolnir as an extension of his divine power, channeling thunder and lightning at will. The enchantment on the hammer allowed it to return to Thor's hand after being thrown, emphasizing its inseparable connection with its master. The tale of Mjolnir's creation added intrigue to its myth, as the Dwarven brothers crafted it in a competition to outshine rivals. Its magical properties, such as the ability to shrink and fit into Thor's pocket, showcased Dwarven craftsmanship and Norse cosmic magic. Beyond its destructive potential, Mjolnir symbolized protection. In Norse mythology, the hammer was invoked for blessings, serving as a ward against malevolent forces. At Thor's side, it stood as a constant reminder of his role as a protector of Asgard and Midgard. Within Greek mythology, the Aegis, a divine shield linked to Zeus, tells a tale of protection, intimidation, and divine authority. Its enigmatic origins embody Zeus's power as the ruler of Olympus, Depicted as a formidable shield bearing the fearsome Gorgon, the Aegis struck fear into onlookers, reflecting Zeus's might. As the king of the gods, Zeus wielded the Aegis, making it an emblem of his divine authority and protection for the heavens. In some myths, Athena is also associated with the Aegis, emphasizing its divine significance. Beyond physical defense, the Aegis manifested Zeus's power to inspire awe and fear acting as a psychological deterrent against challenges of the gods. Intriguingly, myths suggest the Aegis, initially worn by Zeus, may have been passed down to Athena, symbolizing a connection between the king of the gods and the goddess of wisdom and war. The Gaebolg, a mythical spear linked to the legendary hero Cúchulain, is a tale of destiny, prowess, and uncanny precision within Celtic legend. With origins in mystical realms, the Gaebolg possesses extraordinary qualities that set it apart. Described as a fearsome belly spear or lily spear, the Gaebolg features a barbed construction designed for a unique deployment. Crafted with magical properties, it was destined for a hero of exceptional skill, Cúchulain, the Hound of Ulster. Gifted by his martial arts teacher Skathak, the spear became a defining element of his heroic journey. What distinguishes the Gaebolg is its unique method of use. Cast with one's foot, the spear separates into barbs upon impact, ensuring a fatal wound. This extraordinary technique added mystique to Cúchulain's martial prowess, making him formidable on the battlefield. The Gaebolg played a pivotal role in Cúchulain's famous battle, the Tyne Bor Quilinger, against overwhelming odds. Its mythical properties were crucial to his ability to stand against powerful foes, solidifying its legendary status. 
Within French epic poetry and medieval legends, Durandal, the mythical sword of the legendary paladin Roland, unfolds a story of chivalry, heroism, and unparalleled craftsmanship. Originating from the tales of the Matter of France, Durandal holds a distinctive place among European folklore's legendary weapons. Described as an exquisite and indestructible marvel, Durandal is attributed to the legendary swordsmith Wayland, the Smith, or in some versions, the Islamic blacksmiths Muramasa and Mazamun. Its appearance is depicted as a magnificent and ornate blade, symbolizing the pinnacle of medieval swordcraft. Roland, Charlemagne's valiant nephew and one of the Twelve Peers of France, wields Durandal, making it an emblem of loyalty, martial prowess and chivalric ideals. More than a weapon, Durandal represents Roland's indomitable spirit and commitment to defending Christendom. Its legendary status is heightened by its supposed indestructibility. In the Song of Roland, facing overwhelming odds in the Battle of Roncevaux Pass, Roland attempts to destroy Durandal, creating the legendary La Breche de Roland, a cleft in the Pyrenees Mountains. Beyond resilience, Durandal's magical qualities include effortlessly cutting through stone and iron, adding a supernatural element to its illustrious reputation. The Kusanagi no Tsurugi, a legendary grass-cutting sword, unfolds a tale of divine origins, imperial regalia, and the intricate dance between gods and mortals. As one of Japan's three imperial regalia, it holds a unique place in folklore, weaving themes of destiny, bravery, and the divine. Its origins are intertwined with Suzanu, the Shinto god of the sea and storms, who discovered the sword within the tale of the slain Yamata no Orochi serpent. Also known as Ame no Murakumo no Tsurugi, it was presented to Susanu's sister, Amaterasu, the sun goddess, as a peace offering before finding its way to the mortal realm, symbolizing imperial authority. The Kusanagi no Tsurugi is often described as a gleaming mythical sword with divine powers associated with gods. Its connection to natural elements reflects its sacred status. Primarily associated with the Japanese imperial family, it, along with a jewel and mirror, symbolizes the emperor's legitimacy and divine right to rule, embodying protection and authority. One intriguing aspect of its myth is its role in pivotal Japanese history moments, like the Genpei War, where Minamoto no Yoritomo founder of the Kamakura Shogunate, is said to have used it. The Ruyi Jingu Bang, a legendary staff from the classic Chinese novel Journey to the West, is associated with Sun Wukong, the Monkey King, symbolizing supernatural might and transformation. This magical staff, described as a massive pillar of iron or gold, possesses the unique ability to change size at the wielder's will. Sun Wukong, the primary wielder can effortlessly alter its dimensions, showcasing the staff's enchanting nature and alignment with the supernatural. Originally, the as-you-will gold-banded cudgel, a celestial weapon used by Yu the Great to control waters, the staff becomes Sun Wukong's after his adventures. Its transformative quality, allowing it to weigh as much or as little as desired, reflects the Monkey King's journey of self-discovery and enlightenment. One iconic tale involves Sun Wukong challenging the Dragon King of the Eastern Sea. Demonstrating the staff's magical capabilities, he shrinks it behind his ear, revealing its massive form when needed. This episode highlights the staff's supernatural properties and the mischievous wit of the Monkey King. Gungnir, Odin's mythical spear, weaves a tale of divine craftsmanship, unwavering precision, and the indomitable power of the All-Father. Crafted by the skilled dwarven sons of Ivaldi, this flawless and enchanted weapon embodies authority, foresight, and unerring resolve. Odin, the wise chief of the Aesir gods, wields Gungnir as an extension of his authority, showcasing not just martial prowess, 
but also leadership. The spear's magical attributes include flawless craftsmanship, a perfectly balanced blade, and a shaft adorned with magical inscriptions or symbols emphasizing its divine origins. Notably, Gungnir possesses supernatural precision, always hitting its target regardless of an adversary's skill. This adds a fantastical element, highlighting the spear's divine nature. In Norse myths, Gungnir plays a pivotal role, featuring in prophecies and foretold events, emphasizing its connection to fate and destiny. Beyond its function as a weapon, Gungnir symbolizes Odin's authority and insight into the future. Described in the Prose Edda as unbreakable, the spear captures the essence of the Allfather as a powerful and strategic force within Norse cosmology. The imagery of Odin wielding Gungnir underscores his willingness to engage in battle when necessary, making it a legendary symbol in Norse mythology. And there you have it. If you enjoy our content, please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Thank you, and safe travels, my dear friends.